Hello everyone, welcome to Dentomedia YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about tooth development with diagrams and charts. Let's get started. The development of the tooth involves many complex biological processes, including epithelial mesenchymal interactions, morphogenesis, and mineralization. In human beings, 20 deciduous and 32 permanent teeth develop from the interaction between the oral epithelium cells and the underlying mesenchymal cells, primary epithelial band. The initial oral cavity develops after the rupture of the buccopharyngeal membrane at the fourth week of intrauterine life. The interaction between the oral epithelium and the underlying mesenchymal cells results in tooth development, after 37, 37 days or fifth week, days of development, a continuous band of thickened epithelium forms around the mouth in both the future upper and lower jaws. These bands of the epithelium are roughly horseshoe-shaped structures. Dental lamina at the sixth week of gestation period the primary epithelial band forms two subdivisions called the dental lamina and the vestibular lamina. The dental lamina is a band of epithelium that has invaded the underlying ectomesenchyme along both the horseshoe-shaped future dental arches. Vestibular lamina Facial, labial and buccal, to dental lamina another thick band of epithelium develops in the maxillary and mandibular dental arches. It is called as the vestibular lamina or the lip furrow band. Stages of tooth development The stages of tooth development can be divided into the following stages on the basis of the shape of the enamel organ. Bud stage, cap stage, bell stage. Advanced bell stage, bud stage. Bud stage is the initial stage of tooth development. Ten small, round, or ovoid swellings develop superficial to the basement membrane called as tooth buds. Enamel organ, the enamel organ, which looks like a bud, consists of locolumnar cells in the periphery and polygonal cells in the center, dental papilla. The condensed ectomesenchyme immediately under the enamel organ is the dental papilla, dental follicle. The condensed ectomesenchyme surrounding the enamel organ and the dental papilla is the dental follicle slash sac. Cap stage, proliferation, enamel organ. The enamel organ shows an unequal rate of proliferation in different parts instead of uniform expansion. This leads to a stage where the enamel organ looks like a cap. The cells of the enamel organ in the convex portion of the cap are cuboidal in shape and form the outer enamel epithelium. The cells in the concavity of the cap are columnar in shape and form the inner enamel epithelium. Polygonal cells present in the center of the enamel organ between the inner and the outer enamel epithelium are stellate reticulum. The proteinaceous fluid containing albumin gives a cushion-like consistency to the stellate reticulum that supports and protects the delicate enamel-forming cells. Dental papilla The dental papilla also shows signs of becoming more vascular. This is evident by the presence of mitotic figures and active budding of capillaries, dental follicle. The dental sac appears more condensed and fibrous. Bell stage, enamel organ. The crown of the tooth gets its final shape, morphodifferentiation, and the cells that form the hard tissues of the crown, the ameloblasts that form the enamel and the odontoblasts that form dentin, acquire histodifferentiation. Four different types of epithelial cells of the enamel organ can be identified in this stage. Inner enamel epithelium. Stratum intermedium. Stellate reticulum. Outer enamel epithelium. Inner enamel epithelium, this single layer of columnar cells differentiates into tall columnar cells called ameloblasts before the formation of enamel, amelogenesis. Stratum intermedium, cells seen between the inner enamel epithelium and stellate reticulum are called stratum intermedium. The role of stratum intermedium is to regulate the formation of enamel. Stellate reticulum, these star-shaped cells are connected to one another and to the cells of the outer enamel epithelium and the stratum intermedium by desmosomes. 
The role of stellate reticulum is to protect the underlying inner enamel epithelial cells. Outer enamel epithelium The outer enamel epithelium has cuboidal cells. They are connected to the adjacent cells by junctional complexes. Dental papilla The peripherally placed undifferentiated ectomesenchymal cells of the dental papilla increase in size before the enamel formation begins. They are initially cuboidal and later become columnar and differentiate into odontoblasts. In the absence of the inner enamel epithelial cells, differentiation of odontoblasts does not occur and dentin does not form. Dental follicle As more and more of collagen fibrils occupy the extracellular spaces between the fibroblasts of the dental follicle. It is these fibers of the dental follicle that later differentiate into periodontal fibers that become embedded in the cementum and alveolar bone. Advanced Bell Stage Advanced Bell Stage is characterized by the beginning of mineralization and root formation. The line separating the newly differentiated odontoblasts and the inner enamel epithelial cells outlines the dentino-enamel junction. After the formation of first layer of dentin, Enamel is laid down over the dentin by the ameloblast and enamel formation proceeds occlusally. So in this video we have discussed about tooth development. Now you can read this topic in detail with notes for various exams on our website. Link given in description. Thank you for watching.